this is another question on value added tax, VAT. And this question has been derived from public finance and taxation, question of August 2023, question 2C. The question reads as follows. Baraka Traders has provided you with the following details in respect of transactions for the month of December 2022. On December 4th, the transaction is purchases of 725,000 and purchases is input VAT, constitutes input VAT. On 8th, return outwards, return outwards is output VAT because it is purchases returned. So it is output VAT. On December 12th, we have catering expenses. Catering expenses constitute input VAT. On 15th, we have repairs of delivery van. Repair is another expense, which is input VAT. On December 18th, we have audit fees. That is another input VAT being an expense. December 20th, we have cost insurance and freight of imports. And imports are part of purchases, therefore input VAT. On 22nd December, we have sales, but this is local sales, which is um, output VAT. On December 24th, we have another sales, which is export, also another output VAT, but at zero rate. On December 27th, we have sales which is exempt. Exempt sales is neither input or output since they are not vertible. On December 28th, we have photocopying expenses and being expense that is input VAT. On December 30th, telephone bill. This is part of the inputs to the business activities for this month. And therefore we have input VAT. In the additional information, we told that uh, input tax relating to goods sold as exempt could not be directly identified. And it was found appropriate to uh, restrict the deductible input tax. This will affect the input tax that we're going to deduct for this particular month. In number two, all transactions are inclusive of VAT, or value added tax, at the rate of 16% where applicable. Uh, number three, import duty is at the rate of 20% on cost insurance and freight, CIF basis. That will affect the transaction on day 20th. On that transaction on day 20th, as you can see, is um, an import transaction, and therefore the CIF, as we have seen above there, will be uh, subjected to 20% custom duty. On fourth, a data of goods valued at 50,750 was declared bankrupt on 15th December. This is a transaction that constitutes um, uh, bad debts written off. Once a debtor is declared bankrupt, it means they cannot be able to pay. And therefore, such a, a debt need to be written off. And if it is written off, that is um, input VAT. The question requires that we compute the output tax, compute the deductible input tax, Determine VAT payable by or refundable to Baraka traders. Then adv advise the management of Baraka traders on the penalty applicable for late filing and late payment of VAT. Now, to answer this question, as we have been asked, we need to compute the output tax separately total, compute the deductible input tax separately, and then calculate VAT payable or VAT refundable. Let us begin with uh, Roman number one, which requires us to calculate the output VAT. 
whereby we're going to put all the output uh, items of output VAT together, then determine the total, and all the items of input VAT together, then determine the total. Okay, now we begin with the output VAT. The first item of output VAT is return outwards. Return outwards, which is equal to 58,000. times 16 over 116. That is 8,000. And next is, the next output VAT is uh, local sales. And the local sales is equal to 1,131,000. Times 16 of 116. So we have 1,131,000 times 16 divided by 116. That is equal to 156,000. The next output VAT is for export sales, which is zero rated. So we're going to have. Um, an amount of 250,000 multiplied by 0%, and that is equal to zero. Now, all those are the items that constitute output VAT. Therefore, we get total output VAT. We get total output VAT, which is equal to 164,000. That is total output VAT. Number two is about the input VAT. Therefore, we begin by determining the total input VAT as follows. The first item for input VAT is purchases, which is equal to 725,000. times 16 over 116. That is um, 725,000 times 16 over 116, which is equal to 100,000. That is 100,000. Next is catering expenses, which is 87,000. 7,000, again, we multiply by 16 over 116. That is 12,000. The next one is and the next one is uh, the repairs to delivery van. Repairs to delivery van is equal to twenty nine thousand multiplied by sixteen over one sixteen. That is equal to 29,000 by 16 over 116. That is equal to 4,000. The next one is, uh, or the next item of input VAT is audit fees. 
and audit fees here is 26,100. Multiply this by 16 over 116. Three thousand six hundred. Um, the next item is um in import, import, and the import is equal to one twenty five thousand. This one is CIF, so we multiply it by one twenty percent to determine um to add duty. Because where we have imported goods, then we add duty to it. Or the, the value of goods which are charged VAT is CIF plus duty, or it is cost for duty plus duty. Therefore, that is going to be multiplied by 120,000, then multiplied by 16,000. Again, when the goods are imported, uh, the Kenyan VAT has not yet been added. So it is not inclusive of VAT. And therefore, uh, we don't multiply by 16 over 116, but multiply by 16%. And if we calculate that, we're going to have 125,000 multiplied by 120% and then multiply by 16%. That gives us 24,000. And the next transaction for input is for the copying expenses. Whereby this for the copying expenses gives 11,600 by 16 divided by 116 is equal to 1,600. Telephone bill is another expense. And telephone bill equals to 23,200 by 16 over 116. 23,200. 3,200. Lastly, we have bad debt written off and bad debts written off for the customer who was de declared bankrupt on, on fall, uh, that will be 50,750 multiplied by 16 over That is equal to 7,000. Right, so now we can determine the total input VAT by getting the total of all the items of input VAT that we have added here. The total input VAT equals to 155,400. Right, but then this is not the deductible input VAT. For us to determine the deductible input VAT, we will use the formula for restricting uh, input VAT where exempt cells are involved. So deductible input VAT equals to Total input VAT multiply this by um, total input VAT multiplied by total vertebral sales or total vertebral supplies divided by total supplies. Whereby total supplies here include 
vertebral and exam supplies. Now, the, the total input VAT we have already calculated as this. As you can see here, and that is a figure that I have brought here as the total um, input VAT. Then this is multiplied by the total vertebral supplies. Total vertebral supplies is the sum of all these supplies, as you can see here. The vertebral supplies equal to 1 million for 39,000 plus the exam supplies. Exam supplies from the question was equal to 350,000, as you can see there. So we add the 350,000, which is exempt, 350,000. Add it to the total vertebral supplies so that you get the total supplies, which are vertebral and also exempt at um, a total of 1,151,050. Therefore, we are going to have total input VAT as 155,400. Multiply this by 1,439,000. Divide by 1,000,000. One, 1, uh, 551,000,000. 1,551,050. Right, so we calculate this to determine the deductible, restricted deductible input VAT. Restricted deductible input VAT or input tax. Restricted deductible input VAT or input tax equals to 144. 174. Now, question number, th number three is asking us to determine VAT payable or refundable to Baraka traders on in that particular month. In this case, we're going to have VAT uh, payable because the total output VAT was determined to be 164,000 and the total input VAT restricted deductible is 144,000. Therefore, the output VAT is greater than the input VAT, and therefore there is VAT payable. VAT payable equals to output VAT minus input VAT. And that one will be equal to 164,000 minus 144, 174. Now, the VAT payable in this case is going to be 19,826. That is the VAT payable. And that is how to answer question number three. Let us therefore go to the last question, which is question number four. The question is asking that advise the management of Baraka traders on the penalty applicable for late filing of or, and payment of VAT. And this question will be answered as follows. We need to understand that the date for VAT return is on or before 20th of the month following the month of supplies. And in a case whereby there is late filing of VAT return, then the penalty that is charged is 10,000 or shillings or 5,000 of the tax due. And it is whichever is higher. Whichever is higher. Either 5,000 shillings, 10,000 shillings or 5% of the tax due, whichever is higher. But in a case, tax is not paid in time, where there is late payment of tax. For late payment, the, pen, the penalty is 5% of the tax due, 
and an interest of 1% will be applicable per month on the unpaid tax until the tax is settled or paid in full. That is now the answer for question number four.